Hello everyone, what's up? I'm back. That's how. And I'm playing now again The Walking Dead. We're getting to play episode 2. And my friend played a little bit on it, but he said you can rewind it and it deletes every other data for it. So I can make my own decisions. I did not watch, I swear. I swear. Because I don't want to be a bitch like that. So let's see if I have to rewind first. Yeah, rewind. Oh, it says I'm on chapter 1. Hmm, huh? Alright. Hold on. Need to make sure some stuff is ready. And sorry for the delays and shit, but you know. What are you gonna do? <clears throat> sorry if you sound like that and you get something. Oh, here we go. Sorry, well, I thought I had one of those batteries so I can turn up the volume a little bit better. Ugh! I think that shall be good enough. And I'm with Emmett, so if you hear me talking to him, sorry. I'm just gonna talk to him. And let's get started on The Walking Dead. I'm back, Emmett. I'm so excited to see what happens in episode two. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure my subtitles are on. They should be. Oh, hopefully, my friend. I'm going to be quiet here. Let the talking begin. Shit, it's kill a zombie. I have a kill gun. Look a mouse. Damn. What'd they get this time? Um, invite Dan to his party, Emmett. <sighs> well, that's He's inviting me. Lost. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary for God you. damn it, Emmett. <laughs> like so much at the time. I'm sorry, viewers. Emmett just hates me. No, I'm joking. Emmett's cool. He loves me. Not gay. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be free by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. I'm gonna take my mic off for a couple minutes so it can be quiet, okay? Right. Just tell Dan I'm filming or something. No kidding. Ah, uh, cool. Yeah, okay. When I asked her to ask for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Hey, Dad. Yeah. I'm You're trying right. to make so. I wish I knew for sure how much blood there was. What game are you playing? I'm going to play it. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or Miss Angle, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor room. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He thinks I'm a danger to the group. And Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's own muscle. He's a walking pilot driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Hmm. 
bird. Take the shot. We need anything we can get at this point. Oh, so close. Oh, what that? Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Oh, no. I don't think it's Kenny. That didn't sound like Kenny at all. Here, not be Kenny. Running, 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 running. Running, running, running. Who the fuck are these people? Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher from Lee, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Okay. Get it off, get it off, guys, damn it, get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided the camp? I mean, I don't know, guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. This will be hurry, easy. Please, hurry. Oh. oh no, no. See? This trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit. Walkers. It's now or never we. Please get me out of this. Man. Get the boys. I don't like leaving people behind. I don't know. I'm just like that kind of person. Of okay. So let's try breaking this off first. Oh. Uh, oh no. Bro, you might have to get your leg kind of chopped off. No, no, no. Try the trap again. I'm sorry, bro. Say goodbye to your leg. It's okay. I know it hurts. I know. God, I'm trying my best. Ah. Oh. I'm sorry, bro. This is the only way, unless you want to turn into a walker. I'm trying to. No, we don't. Fuck it. I got him. Yeah, see if I. Oh, no, no. He's done. I think he's ran. Okay, good. I was gonna say, I killed someone by accident then. Whoops. Let's go. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Ooh, you did shit. Oh my god. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. The walking dead. Oh, so dramatic, man. This is so exciting. Sorry. It is. Oh yeah, by the way, this is a one hour special I might be doing. Maybe just 30, not one hour. If so too, starve for help. So, so dramatic. Ew, you fuckface, why are you using a hammer? I'm not hammer. What the fuck am I talking about? Why are you using a rock? Hey, Clem, you playing soccer? You're a pro. Duck. You, what are you drawing, duck? Lily! So I think he's a great guy, but look, look. See, they're all good. He's get cranky. Yeah, he just, oh shit. I think it's us. Come on. Very us. Don't do it. Shoot. Oh shit, it's getting dramatic. Oh god. Oh god, it's getting 
Can you still see me? What? Oh, whistle. Huh. You see, like, get eaten. Watch, like, a zombie pop out of nowhere and just eat his face off. I'll be laughing. Oh, open. it's us. We've got wounded. Shit. What the hell are they doing? Saving people? Like a boss? Come on. Come what are you on. doing? Saying your lazy bitch what? ass. What? You have to me. Are you okay? I'm always okay. I'm a boss. Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Wait, I don't know. Wait. Yes, that's my name. Hell, no, you can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Anything I want. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Because I am. Would have died if we left him. So what? Because. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group. Right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Know what, people? Come it's on, my decision, these bitch. People. I'll destroy sure all of you. Just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. That's what we, the yeah. The reason you're here is because you had food. Bitch, I buy, I decided. All of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. That's good. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Not really. Uh, no? Fine, you guys find it out then. Welcome to the family. What's your name? I wonder. Go over here and see what I drew. Yeah. What? Go with Clump. No, I... Just <laughs> come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this loop? Yeah, I can. We can make our own goddamn decisions. <laughs> this isn't your own personal dictatorship. Ho oh. ho. Oh, come on. You're being dramatic. Aw, oh, shut up. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Uh, that's a hey, good idea. I didn't ask to leave this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. Guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. Oh, come on, Ken. Don't do this to me. Charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. But sooner or later, you're going to have to decide whose side you're on. Man. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. Oh, fuck I your ass. Balls than all of you combined. It's kind of disturbing me if you think about it. Why don't you balls? Mark with the wall? Ugh. Then she's the man. I don't care if he doesn't mean it like that. It sounds like that. Hey, you better walk away. Oh. See, this is easy for me. Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. Yeah, because you're... You know, you know. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. Fine, I don't. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Fine. Bring it. <laughs> I will do good because I'm a good person. I'm like you. No, I'm joking. She's cool. Apples. G6. Hmm. That's cool. Why is everyone staring at me? I know I have food, but who said I'm getting you the food? It's my decision. Alright, so there's isn't. I just looked outside. So his name's Ben. So Ben. So we need to be smart here. I'm not gonna. Uh, okay. So, Clem Town. Of course, you're getting food because you're the part of. I love you. <laughs> you're the cool. You need to survive more. Um, apple would be good. There you go. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No. That was the last one. Oh. Um. Hmm. Enjoy it. You deserve it. Duck, I guess. He's a kid. A kid gets. Huh. What the fuck is. What? No, stop dancing. You. S what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh man, I'm so hungry. I forget. Let's give some to Ken, because Ken deserves some, actually. Want something to eat? I guess it. I don't want. Don't stare at me like that. I didn't mean to give it to you. I know, you're cool and all, but still, I could have saved Doug. Doug, Doug, Doug. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I like you, Ken. Starved. Thanks. Uh, 
Well, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones who need it. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorite. Aw, oh, fuck you. I'm getting to the people I think needs it. How you doing, Pepper Time? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? I'll try my best. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Claire. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. <laughs> That's good. Let's give some food to. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A hand up? Hey. Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. You any joke with the wall? Uh. Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Woohoo. <coughs> here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? No, not really. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told me? There, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't kill care you. What that's what I'm gonna do about it. I hope you die. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. Oh. Right now that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. You're the one talking. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Vanilla is so much better. Oh, Ken, Sorry, guys. Come here, please. What? He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. That sucks. God damn it. I'm Ken. sick of this shit. Ken. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? He's part of the group. Whoosh! <laughs> no, gotcha! God damn it! I'm not losing you. You little piece of shit, get off of him. Or her, should I say. Yeah, oh, fuck me. Ugh. Hey, buddy. Ow. Shit, fucking bitch. I'm gonna smash your motherfucking head. Get on the fucking ground. What? Mommy? Uh, get away from me. Fucking piece of shit. Do you eat? Get off of me. I'm backing up. Get away. Get away. Owie. Jesus Christ. Oh! Oh my god, this is stirring. Shoot the fucking thing! You okay? I'm always okay. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, 
I'm gonna invite Bailey. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Fall down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. That sucks. Everyone. I, I guess so. I think I'm gonna end it a little early because everyone's joined the party and I kind of feel like just playing that game. But not yet. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym. Everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... Relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. Huh. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. You better. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out and see if it's legit? I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? Oh my god, Bailey, I'm sorry. This is why I hate filming with people. I think I'm never gonna do it again, actually. You got a deep. We'll bring sun gas to you, Derry. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. See how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Hooray. So, this Derry, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Lily's way of running things is smart. It's not easy, but it's keeping us alive. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Barry knows. Right. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. He was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Asked me about it. I lied to her about it. What exactly did happen with the senator? Now is not the time. Well, I'm here whenever you want to talk. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Maine. Right here in the heart of Jones. That's what I like to hear. Huh. You seem pretty settled. Fuck, these guys are ready. Who's running things over there? Lily. Runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off some. How many people you got over there, anyway? Yeah, 
enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mom's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but now it's... You it's... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shoot it down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always calling them bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided my camp. <laughs> oh, I got a badass. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Is it very that safe? Very be safe. You guys got fucked up. You then track a lot of some infected there probably. Beautiful. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing. It reminds me of episode one in that other farm. Bad memory. <laughs> I assume that's a lot. Nicer farm, though. Okay. Nah, it's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Ferry. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow a good thing. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Thank first this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? But she... We have a vet, but we can bring her here. But we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh, Mama, our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'd be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take that along with you? Take care of yourself, Lou. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm to go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. 
It's got food and a fancy for man that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing up there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open and you find out what you can for me. Alright, so I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, you know, tell friends, please. Actually, come on, guys, just tell friends. And get ready for I got some Minecraft videos that will be going up soon. So, thanks for watching, and get ready for the next part of The Walking Dead.